Another Bungo Stray Dogs title I don't fully understand. This one's called the Azure Messenger, and I know Azure, I'm pretty sure, means blue. So the Blue Messenger. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Bungo Stray Dogs, episode 6, I should say, of season 1. Last episode, we had the murder on d street which was like a one-off introducing us to rampo and his deduction skills and just all around fantastic episode fantastic investigation finding out that sugimoto was the killer and all of that and just the the dark deep details behind it oh it was sad it was sad but i am ready for this one because i gotta find out what happens i gotta meet more of these characters more of these abilities even though some of the abilities aren't really abilities, you know, I just I just can't wait. So I'm just going to hop into this. I am super excited. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description for you guys, like always. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment down below, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when we post over here on the Dapper channel. And then follow me on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok. TikTok, if you guys want early access to some of the videos, remember that, remember that. Um, but let's hop right on into this. I am super excited. Bungo Stray Dogs, Season 1, Episode 6, The Azure Messenger. Everything about me is written in this book. That's the book he uses for his uh, powers, so I'm curious. Maybe this is going to be a Kunikita episode? Okay. I love the rookie training. We're always there. Disappearances. Abducted and imprisoned. Oh, really? Oh, really? How goes it, informant? Oh, so this is a known informant. Cyber criminal. Mm, Edward Snowden. Okay. I am new. Nice to meet you. Cyber Network Warrior Taaguchi Rokozu. The Azure Messenger, the title of the episode. Okay, it's a beautiful shot with the lights and the nighttime. Good point. Yes, he did mention something about his father. Mm, also, valid rebuttal. But I. Mm, okay, I need to know more. Dope, dope. A stage actor. <laughs> hey, I feel you, my man. Probably works really well. Ooh, okay, hunch. Uh huh. What about it? Good point. You too, Kunikia. Good point. Fucking design. Yeah, this looks like the most horrid, scary place to ever be. What the hell? Yeah, you're not catching me a single step in that building. No. Very much so. Very much so. Oh, yeah. What is this? Some sort of saw game? Where she only has a li limited time to breathe? This animation is beautiful, I can't lie. Shoot the glass and get that water out of there. Hello, Miss. Hello. We need Rampo again, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
にも誘拐された方がいるはずです。Are they also drowning? Oh, no, okay, no, they're not. They're just also imprisoned. This is a gas chamber? Somebody's definitely watching. I need to know who. And there's cameras at an abandoned hospital. That's very interesting. But, hmm. Dying to a gas chamber? That's so sad. That's why the recordings were there, the pictures and everything, and the paper. His eyes flirting her up, of course. Sounds about right. I like that response, though. <laughs> That's his type. I mean, that is his ideal everything, right? Ah, see, she's already going through it. What does it say? They are plain, but I think they're slim and classy. I like them. A naturally flamboyant person. Uh oh. I. Is it gonna be what's his name? Um, is it Taguchi Rokuzo? Bro, this show just gets darker and darker. Are you telling me that now when I go into an Uber or a cab, I'm gonna think of him gassing me, killing me in a gas chamber, or drowning me, then selling my organs on the black market? Uh huh. Good to know. This show is crazy. So he would impersonate them. That is, oh my, another good point. I didn't even pick up, and everyone in the pictures were all like, you know. That, oh, that's one. That's so smart. Two. Genius, man. Ed, he's not wrong. It was all circumstantial. <laughs> he's like, we called him out, but what now? A new organ smuggling organization. If he says the Port Mafia, mm, somehow the Port Mafia always gets involved. That man, no hesitation, booked it. He's got bulletproof doors, that's dope. Dopo poet. He gets to create whatever he talks about, right? Flashbang, yep. Or whatever he writes down, I meant. That's dope. Akutagawa is here. Akutagawa is here with Rashomon. That's why he wasn't shooting the Port Mafia members a second ago. Smart though with the water. That was I like that play. Do something with electricity, stun gun with the water on the current. Yeah. Hunikita is a smart cookie. I like him. Akutaga was strong though. Oh no, we're good. Oh, 
They're constantly doing this where <laughs> Akutagawa comes in, shows how badass he is. We'll do this again. Don't you worry. I'm out of here. Oh, they burnt the shit. Oh, Azure Flag Terrace? That Azure King? So that's a different gang we're talking about? I like how it's black and white except for the blue flag around him, you know? Azure. Instant death. ここで自爆して果てた。その時殉職した刑事さんの一人があの六蔵少年の父親だよね。正義感の強いいい刑事だった。I domino you know of motions this whole thing but uh this cause and effect type scenario but he i like how there's context that needed to be given like even though he's the one who reported this the military the police and the public safety board whatever worked in tandem on this so there was just all sorts of chaos these five technically shouldn't have even gone like it's just like i can see where he feels responsible but it's nowhere near his fault at all like not even remotely close so i like that he feels responsible though it makes him a better person and drives him further you know and it makes sense why he'd want to look after the boy you know and his deceased father's steed okay so the azure gang is back so we have some work to do this is scary and dark i respect it that's my boy i thoroughly also enjoyed this episode again like i'm saying i'm loving the serialized like stories that don't really seem to play into the bigger picture even though i don't even know if there is a big i, I don't i'm not trying to say that in a bad way at all i'm loving these stories loving these episodes loving how a lot of them are focusing on different characters meanwhile atsushi is just there absorbing all the info we can i love the rampo one last episode i'm guessing this is going to be a part one part two of kunikita's i love how full circle it gets when we meet like uh taguchi and then um we we talk about his father just for a little bit and then we learn about his father and the azure mess and uh, all it's just, it comes full circle the writing's really well and the, done really well in this in the story and the show and the manga whatever the mangaka is of this does a very fantastic job every time i hear kuniki to talk i always just think of asahi that's just all i do think of and it's just oh man it's just a fantastic show i love the powers i need to see more i need to see more dopeness it was great seeing akutagawa again I am interested. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you guys don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Full length is there as well. Um, go check that out. Links in the description. Make sure you guys drink a bunch of water. Be safe. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.